Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Canterbury Shaker Village. I'm joined by Emma Erler from UNH Cooperative Extension. And today we're talking about something that just about everybody loves. And if you don't, well, I don't want to know. <laughs> and that's garlic. And Emma, uh, a lot of people, myself included, didn't realize that fall is actually a good time to plant it. Huh? It is, yeah. So October and November are great times to plant garlic in New Hampshire, depending on where you live. Okay. And what about now? I understand there are two different types of garlic. Yeah, so what you have in your hand, Ray, is hardneck garlic. And there's also a softneck garlic that you could find in the supermarket. But hardneck garlic is actually hardier and is your best choice for planting in New Hampshire. Okay, so we're, we have a little bit of soil in front of us here. And what do we do, need to do to get this bed uh, ready to plant our garlic? Yeah, so the first thing you want to do is check your soil pH. Garlic likes just a basic garden soil, so between 6 and 7 for the pH. And then you're probably going to want to top dress with a little bit of fertilizer. So garlic needs a little bit of a nitrogen boost. So a 10-10-10 fertilizer spread at 2 pounds per 100 square feet is perfect. Okay. Now I know sometimes when I'm planting daffodils, tulips, other bulbs, things like that, I'll put like a little bit of bone meal or something in the actual um, spot where I'm uh, planting them, the hole. Do I need to do that with the garlic as well? You do not. No, you can just top dress. And as it rains and as the soil freezes and thaws, that fertilizer is going to get pulled down in. Okay, so show us a little bit how we go about doing this. Then. Okay, so to start with, you know, we have one big bulb here, but we have all these individual cloves. Right. So you can start breaking up your clove, and we're going to plant these individually. And so when we go to make our holes, all you need to do is dig down about two to three inches and throw this clove in here, pointy side up. Pointy side up. Pointy okay. side up and bury it. And we're going to try to plant these about six inches apart so they have plenty of room to grow. Okay, excellent. Now I see some straw here on top of it. And uh, what's the purpose of that? When do we put that as I stand up here? Yeah. <laughs> Give the knees a break. <laughs> yeah. So mulch is a really good thing to put down once the soil is frozen. It helps give the bulbs a little bit more protection, those cloves as they're growing. Um, and you don't want to do it too soon because you're going to keep the soil warm and the garlic might sprout early. Okay, so we obviously don't want to sprout in the middle of winter. So, Emma, if I want to find out a little bit more about growing garlic, head to the website. Is that, can I go Absolutely. There? Head to the Extension website or right. give us a call. And then next fall, you'll be enjoying your own pesto. All right, that's it for today's Grow It Green.